business. Well, child, people don't know how to mind their business. <laughs> What is up y'all? Happy Sunday. Today is Sunday, January 23rd, I believe. And welcome to my first vlog. This is gonna be a DIY vlog. Um, today we're gonna do a little DIY project and I thought I would go ahead and film it for you guys. Um, so yeah, I just got done. I've just been like chilling, cleaning up around the house today so far. It is around like two, two o'clock I believe. And yeah, I just decided that I wanted to go ahead and do a little DIY today for some artwork for my office. So we're gonna run to Home Depot to pick up some of the things that I'm gonna need. And yeah, I'm gonna take y'all along with me. And then of course, we're going to film me doing this DIY for you guys so hopefully y'all like this video don't forget to subscribe if you're not um as you guys know I am starting out my YouTube journey here so support your girl subscribe like the video comment down below and all that good stuff but yeah y'all I'm about to go ahead and get dressed I'm still in like my around the house clothes so I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed and get my baby dress so we can go ahead and head up to home depot and grab everything that we're gonna need so i will check back in with y'all in a minute all right y'all we are in route to home depot um this portion of the video is gonna be filmed on my phone because yeah i was not trying to carry that big old camera into the store so hopefully the video quality isn't like too off or too different from but it wasn't finished so it's gonna look a little bit different the next time I have it up but yeah so we're gonna go and grab some spackle and I might look at getting some paint too because I know I want to add paint to them also but I got a whole bunch of paint at home so I don't really know that I need to buy any paint but knowing me like when I get in Home Depot when I get in anywhere y'all this is why I stay in the house because when I go into any store, baby, it don't matter what it is, I'm gonna buy some stuff. Like, I just be seeing something like, oh, I need that, I could do this with that. So, yeah. So, we're on our way. Um, Home Depot's literally down the street from me, so we will be there in a minute. So, I will catch up with y'all once we get there. Here, grab the stuff that we need. Let me grab 
vaccinated, vaxxed or not, make sure y'all putting y'all masks on, honey. Cause there's a lot going on out here in these streets. Everybody has been sick, so wear your mask. All right, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and run in here and I'll catch up with y'all inside. All right, you guys, I am hopping in to record a voiceover for this portion of the video because they were playing some copyrighted music in Home Depot and who has time for that? So I was just showing you guys that we were picking up the Dry Dex Spackle. I really like this spackle because it starts out pink while it's wet and then once the spackle dries it turns white so that's how you know when it's fully dry so i was just picking that up and then showing y'all my baby knocked out he's so adorable i know right but yeah just popping in It's like good for sit down videos and like taking pictures. 
but it's definitely not a vlogging camera. So I really need to get a vlogging camera. a couple of hours later <laughs> we had to get proper situated let him take a nap we had to eat we had to do you know we had to do some things but we are ready to go ahead and get started on our project finally um i've changed into some clothes that i don't mind getting dirty um we're currently in my office i would give y'all a little tour but my office is a mess right now um we just kind of like me and my sister kind of rearranged it a little bit last night so that i could film and stuff is just like all over the place nothing is where it's supposed to be and yeah i just need to get it together and really clean it and yeah just get stuff together before i give y'all tour because right now it looks a mess so we're not gonna do a tour but i do have everything that we got from home depot behind me and my canvas here so we're gonna go ahead and get started i'm gonna set you guys up so that you can see what i'm doing but yeah basically just have everything laid out on the floor in my office and we're just gonna work in here um let me show you guys the canvas that i have done already so this is a canvas that I've done already. Um, I did this a couple of days ago and it currently just has the spackle on it. But here, let me move this mirror. But we're going to add more to it. Um, but yeah, this is the one that I did start already. And like I said, we're gonna add more to it, and we're gonna basically be doing the same thing that we did on this one, on the other one. Not, it's not gonna look exactly the same, obviously, but um, yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and spackle this one down here, and then honestly, y'all, this vlog is probably gonna be a couple of days because we have to do the spackle. We have to let the spackle dry before we can paint them and everything. And we're not gonna do all that tonight. So we're gonna get the spackle down, get our like blueprint of how we want that to look down onto the canvas. And then we will paint it probably sometime this week. Tomorrow is Monday and I do work a full-time job as well as I'm a full-time mama. So I don't know when this is gonna get done, but just bear with me how we will get it done. I also ordered some gold leaf sheets to put because i want to put add some gold like some metallic gold to these um because gold is my accent color in my office and that's gonna take a couple days to come so yeah this project isn't gonna get all done today but we will get it done hopefully within this week or so so yeah but i'm gonna go ahead and start getting everything get this canvas unwrapped and set it up so that you can All right, y'all, so we have our canvas all ready to go. And we have our spackle. This is what I was telling y'all in the store. The spackle is gonna be pink until it dries and then it'll dry white, just like the one that I just showed y'all behind us. So there's really no rhyme or reason to how you want to go ahead and go about this you can make it as chunky as you want as flat as you want you can do swirls whatever you really want to accomplish i did screenshot like some inspo pics so let me show those to you so this is the first one hopefully y'all can see this hold on so I can kind of see but it's basically got like a big chunky line 
of texture in the center and then at the top it's kind of it's, i don't think y'all can really see but at the top it's got just kind of like some different zigzaggy type of lines and then at the bottom it's got almost like raped lines if that makes sense so i'm gonna try to do something similar to that um and then i also screenshot and i got these pictures from google like i just googled white textured art and then i also saw this one which i like a lot very very simple very minimalist um it's just like a lot of texture all over and then they just painted like that black line which i really really like so yeah that's kind of like my inspiration or whatever that I'm gonna be working with but of course mine won't turn out exactly the same but we're just gonna have fun with it and see where it goes so hopefully that's focused and we're ready to start it so it's really like I said there's no rhyme or reason to it so I'm just gonna use my small little spreader dig out a chunk of the spackle. This spackle is like Play-Doh texture. So it's kind of hard to spread it, honestly. You know, you gotta have a little elbow grease. You gotta put a little elbow grease into it, y'all. So, I'm just start right in the middle. I'm gonna try to do like the first one to create that like middle chunky line. So I'm gonna just start by like spreading it across. All right, so that's gonna be like our basic line that we're gonna work from. Now, I want it to be like more chunkier, like it was in the picture. So what I'm gonna do to do that is now I'm gonna take this wide, flat um, spreader. This actually came with a wallpaper kit that I ordered off Amazon. So it's basically like a wallpaper smoother. I don't know what the technical name of this stuff is, y'all. I just be calling this stuff whatever I call it. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of like take this and push it towards the center so that it'll make it like chunky, like thick. If that makes sense. So I'm just pushing it from both sides into the center. Y'all see that? So then it's just making it like chunky. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just moving. Okay. Yeah, I'm just here for the ride. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and um, I'm gonna speed this part up and then I'll check back in with y'all once we're done doing this part. pretty good for like the little center line that I wanted to have going across um so now I'm gonna just go ahead and work on the top portion of the canvas and I'm gonna try to really mimic how the one was that I showed on the picture and just do kind of like some different little 
zigzag type of lines and then I want to do a different pattern at the bottom so that's what we're going for hopefully it goes well like I said y'all I don't know what I'm doing I'm just doing so <laughs> hopefully it comes out good because um, yeah I'm gonna be using these here in my office you know they'll probably be used for like backgrounds and just to have some artwork in my home um, don't feel like you guys have to buy like expensive artwork definitely um if you can support um, local artists especially black artists of course you can always want to buy black um but you can also make your own art like make your own if you can don't feel like you can't y'all see i don't know what i'm doing i'm not an artist but i'm making some art today so um i don't know if that first thing of speckle i had was old or what but this new speckle y'all it's way like i don't know if y'all can see it's like gooier the first one was like hard like play-doh this one's not so this one's gonna be a lot easier to work with so that's good all right, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and work on this top section and I'm gonna speed this part up. But I'll kind of stop at some point once I kind of got myself into a flow when I'm doing and explain. And then, yeah.
Alright y'all, so I am done with the top. See, I just kind of did some different directions. Y'all saw what I did. So now that I'm done, I actually think that I want to make this like center line a little bit thicker, like wider. So I'm going to add more spackle to that because I really want it to be like a a real like noticeable line of demarcation like between the top and the bottom so i'm gonna make this line a little bit thicker um so i'm gonna do that really quick and then i'll come back and let y'all know how we're gonna work out this lower half of the painting So I'm going to use this comb. I know y'all probably like, oh, that is nasty. But once I use the comb, I'm obviously going to throw it away. But yeah, I'm going to just use this little comb um, and see how that goes. So trial and error. Hopefully this, I don't see why this won't work. So we'll use this. It's going to give smaller lines than the picture that I showed y'all, but that's okay. So. can see that texture but yeah I think this looks really good here let me this up. this is our final product so let me kind of zoom in on it for y'all so you see at the top we have all the little like spread pattern like short little strokes and then we have our little center line which is really thick and chunky y'all can see it's got the texture 
And then at the bottom, we have the little line work at the bottom. So that's it. That's our that's our art piece, y'all. So we're gonna let this dry. Um, it's gonna dry overnight. I feel like the middle part might take a, a while to dry. I don't know. Hopefully it'll just take overnight. Um, the bottom's gonna dry really, really fast because it's a really thin layer of speckle. Um, but yeah, we're gonna let it dry. And then eventually we will get to painting our canvases. I still have to paint the other one as well. The one that I have up here. Here. So we're gonna paint that one also um, at some point. But yeah, that's gonna be it for now. So once this is dry and we're ready to paint our canvases, I will check. Out. 